An average person like you or me makes over 30,000 decisions every day. Now, fortunately, most of these decisions are quick and effortless, like having toast or Cheerios for breakfast. But other decisions will be far more important. Pick one of those, one that really mattered to you, and ask yourself, did I really do my best to base on strong evidence? For most of us, it's often not the case, right? And that's fine if it's a trivial decision. But what if it has far-reaching consequences, like having a heart surgery? What if it affects society as a whole, like climate change? Are we really basing these decisions on strong evidence? All of the great solutions we've discovered, they're all pointless if they end up in a closed drawer. Let me show you an example of what happens when a community starts to completely ignore the evidence around them. The Flat Earth Society. An entire movement dedicated to convince you, and quite successfully, that the planet actually looks like this. And it's clear, right? Look at the horizon. It looks pretty flat to me. There's also an ice wall at the edge of the planet that if you're keen to visit, they're organizing a cruise trip. Oh, and Australia, well, I'm sorry, but it just doesn't exist. How come? Well, there's no such thing as down under. Now, admittedly, this is just one community, but leaders are often relying on the same flawed logic when running countries and organizations. Some are not only not evidence-based, but they're actually taking pride in it. What is going on here? I'm interested in taking apart the decision-making process to try to understand how we're falling short from well-informed decisions. We know that to make good decisions, we need to collect information and then make sense of it to choose an appropriate course of action. My research objectively measures each of these steps for the first time to identify where and why we're falling short. In doing so, we aim to clarify why some people are more evidence-based than others. What cues might help foster evidence-based practice? And more importantly, how can we help our leaders and individuals like you and me to make better, well-informed decisions that help us achieve our goals in the future. Thank you.